Well, Tennille Towns joins us here. So excited to have you on the CP Holiday Train this run and stopping right here in Moose John December 6th. I'm so excited to come and see you guys. I've been looking forward to this holiday train truly since I heard about it. This is just, it's going to be so fun, and I'm really excited we get to come and see you guys in Moose Jaw. So is this your first time out on the holiday train? It is. I've been hearing about it for years and always thought it would be such a cool thing to get to go do. And the opportunity came up this year. I was like, hey, do you want to ride this holiday train? I was like, yes, I love trains. I'm obsessed with trains. And also, I just i am so excited to get to play in all of these wonderful places that the train goes. And we'll just we'll just be there with a little holiday music to hopefully lift everybody's spirits and get us in the uh, in the Christmas mood. So I'm really looking forward to it. So growing up, did you ever get a chance to go and see the CP holiday train roll through your town? I did not. I would have loved that, but I de I, it was not something I grew up um, participating in, but I heard about it at the, the CCMAs a couple years ago. They were honored with the Humanitarian Award for all their incredible work with the food bank, and I was like, oh my gosh. I mean, I'd heard artists telling me, other artists telling me about this train, and but once I saw the whole presentation of what it was all about, I was like, oh, how did we not go and see this? <laughs> Growing up, I would have loved this, so... So with the course of getting like the kickstart to the holidays, basically for many communities throughout the prairies, couple Christmas questions for you. When it comes to Christmas songs, what is your go-to? Mm, well, I'm a sucker for the sad ones, you know? Like I love the Christmas song, Chestnuts Roasting on an Open Fire. I love White Christmas, um, just kind of thinking about that snowy, beautiful atmosphere. But I, I think that we're going to try to mix a few in our set on this train that are a little more rocking. I really love Brenda Lee's Rocking Around the Christmas Tree. That one will really get you going. <laughs> it always does. And it's we will see you guys coming through on the train. So we're just we're here for all your holiday needs this year. <laughs> That's awesome. Now, you've been keeping it so busy, too. I know I've seen that you just recently got to get up on the stage and show the stage with George Strait. Like, how crazy was that for you I feel like every time we talk you have like a huge milestone thing happening thank you for that it's always great to chat with you I mean it was so surreal to get to be a part of those shows with the king in Texas of all places I was like there's no better person to make some friends with in Texas than George Strait so that was such a dream to get to open up those shows for him and to get to say hello and thank him for having us out there was just it was so cool so He's incredible. That catalog of music to just stand up front of house and listen to his whole set was just like, wow. He's got so many songs that have just moved so many people, and it was beautiful to get to watch him play. So I'm going to put you a little bit on the spot here. If you had to choose one George Strait song to listen to for the rest of your life, which George Strait think, song would it be? I know, it's I, so that, tough. <laughs> it's such a tough call. I mean, Troubadour to me is like, sets the bar. I love that song. I love how it feels and what it says, but if I had to pick one, I'd probably go probably Amarillo by Morning or The Chair. I, this is too hard. It's too hard. Maybe Amarillo by Morning, though. There we go. That's a great selection. Like I said, too, it is a definitely a harder one to try and decide like what one you'd want to listen to because like with that catalog of music, just so huge. And speaking of music as well, your latest single, The Last Time, our listeners have been absolutely loving this one from you, Tennille. Oh, that's so cool. Thank you for saying that. It means the world to me that people are listening to the song and I, I love getting to read through like different Instagram messages of people telling me about their grandpas or about dropping their kids off at school and just about like, hey, I've really taken in these moments and, and here's, you know, here's to the to the first times and the last times. And, like just hearing from people on that has meant so much to me. So I'm really excited. People have been listening to that song. We just did a run of shows um on the on in Ontario a couple weeks ago and that was my first time like hearing an audience sing that song so loudly back it was incredible so I loved it so much how does it feel for you when you go in studios and record such heartfelt songs like this one it's always a little emotional you know and trying to like the thing about recording is it's like I, I think for me it's a goal of like not thinking too much about it because you want to capture the emotion of that moment of what you want people to like. It's kind of like you're just holding the door open for somebody listening to it. That's how I try to imagine it because 
my perfectionist brain can definitely take over in a recording situation. It's like, it has to be just right. And it's like, that's actually not the most important thing. It just has to feel right. So I've, I've been learning on how to kind of capture that, I think, in a, in a bit of a, a better way. But it definitely gets me with these story songs. It's like, oh, if I can just disappear into the story and think about that, then that's the most, I think, important thing to focus on. Oh, that is awesome to hear. And of course, too, like I said earlier, just the fans connecting so well to this one with just so many different stories like you had mentioned, like first day of school for their kids or the last day of school for like high school students and just all that kind of stuff just brings up so many different emotions. It's really cool to see how a song can hit like so many different things in a lifetime. Thank you for that. I appreciate you saying that. And of course, too, back to the holiday side of things, we got some fun questions for you. What is wow. one of your all time <laughs> favorite Christmas things? Like, do you have like a Christmas tradition or anything that's like your absolute favorite? Well, I always just love to hang out with my family. We're, we're a pretty like competitive games family. We play a lot of cards. Um, we always love to go outside, you know, and take out the skidoos or maybe do a little ice fishing. That's always kind of been a part of the tradition. Um, this year is the very first year that a, a little, a, a bit of my family has actually come to Nashville. So we'll do some, we'll make some, some Nashville Christmas traditions this year, which is going to be a little weird than our normal, our normal go-to in the snow kind of fun things. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely it'll be a Christmas to remember. That's for sure. Now you mentioned card games. So what is one of the ones that gets the town's household all competitive? Let's see. I mean, we play this game called Liar, which is kind of like betting on your hand and how many rounds you think you're going to make. That one will get pretty heated. We play Hearts with the Queen of Spades. That one's always trouble. Who ends up with the Queen of Spades? Um, and what else? Cribbage. Cribbage is a big one for us. I, I play my prepare in Cribbage often, and, and we both really like to win, so it's, it's tough with that one. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. Sounds like it definitely keeps the family busy on holidays with games like that, right. hey? <laughs> and definitely. of course, uh, holiday food as well. Like, do you have a go-to staple that always has to be a part of your Christmas holidays? Mmm. I gotta say, I'm here for the mashed potatoes. Like, that's probably my favorite. If It, it, it doesn't matter what else goes with it, but I think they get a little underrated. Like, it's like, oh, it's just a given. There's going to be potatoes with whatever you're eating, but... That's my favorite. So what's your go-to then when you're making mashed potatoes? Because I know there's so many different ways people make it. Like I know some that like make it with like sour cream in it when they're like mashing their potatoes. Like is there a certain way that you like to do it? I think maybe a little sour cream, a little milk kind of. I really like them nice and creamy and smooth. Yeah. Perfect. Well, we won't keep it too much longer here, Tennille. Uh, of course, like I said earlier, fans so excited to see you out on this run with Holiday Train. Is there anything you want to say to the fans or looking forward to seeing you out there? Oh, I'm just really excited to see everybody outside the Holiday Train. So thanks for coming by to hang with us. And thank you for listening to my music. I hope everybody has the most wonderful um, holiday season and um, gets to spend it with somebody that they love and and, and, and gets to just kind of share a little love around the holidays. You know, for some people, it can be a little bit of a sad time. For it's a, it's a really joyful season for most people. And sometimes for some of us, it's got a little nostalgic in it or missing somebody or whatever it is. And it's always like a hustle and bustle, you know. But I hope that anybody can just kind of take a moment to, to smile at somebody and let them know they see each other. And hope everybody has a really good holiday season. Well, we cannot wait for that as well. Same wishes to you and your family. And yeah, cannot wait to have you kickstart the holiday season here in Moose Jaw, December 6th with the CP Holiday Train. Teal, thank you so much for chatting with us today. Thanks for having me. Always great to chat with you and can't wait to see everybody soon.